On October 12, 2022, 35-year-old Nicholas Brutcher and his brother Nathan left their parents' home in Bristol, Connecticut. They drove about a mile to a local bar called Bleachers, arriving sometime between 7 and 7.30 p.m. It was open mic night and Nicholas planned to perform stand-up comedy. Later in the evening, Nicholas became drunk, prompting the bartender to stop serving him. Meanwhile, Nathan was playing pool while Nicholas stayed at the bar. A patron approached the bar to get change for the pool table and, in a friendly gesture, put his arm around Nicholas. However, Nicholas didn't appreciate the contact and warned the man not to touch him. This led to a verbal altercation and, according to a witness, Nicholas issued another warning before finally elbowing the man in the face, knocking him backward. One of the bartenders threatened to call the police if they didn't stop, but Nicholas and the patron told her it wasn't necessary since they had already agreed to take it outside. As they moved into the vestibule by the front door, Nicholas suddenly punched the patron in the head, knocking him to the ground. The patron's handgun fell from its holster, and Nicholas's friend quickly retrieved it and handed it to the bartender. The altercation then spilled out into the parking lot where Nathan became aware of the scuffle. After some pushing and shoving, bystanders intervened to break up the fight and the police were en route. When the police arrived, witnesses informed them that the Brutchers were leaving in a white pickup truck. The patron involved in the fight was interviewed at the scene and told officers he was uninjured and didn't want to press charges because, he said, the other guy was drunk. Acting on the witness information, officers immediately began pursuing the white pickup. Connecticut combination Charlie 175084. It's a white work body truck. We bear Barry at Surrey Drive. Officers quickly located the Brutcher's vehicle and initiated a traffic stop. Where's Officer Hamsey tonight? He's not working over here tonight. I think he's off. Hit him up, Tom. Nick and Nate said hi. Hang on. I can outrun this motherfucker. Nick and Nate. Nick and shit. Yeah, Nick, stop. I'll be ghost. He thinks he's like, like, like Hollywood. He wouldn't want to chase me. Not, not this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you would not. We would be out. No, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about. But that's just funny, funny. We just talk about funny stuff like that. We're comedy. Thank you. Let's see. Busted. Hang tight in the truck. Now nah, I'm gonna go talk with the cop of my brother. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. See, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk with okay. my brother and you yourself. You're not listening, and you're making no, the situation no, no, much worse. No, no, no. I, I you can stand no, right no, no, here. No, no, you're going to stay right here. If you move, off. you are I, going to be placed under arrest for interfering with an investigation. Okay? Yes, stay right here. Thank you. No, he's fine. Chill out, Nick. They let fucking five ass, seven motherfuckers be cops. Mr. McKenzie King, I mean. They, they, they let large pieces of. What, what do you do? Don't worry about what the fuck I Lighter do. Filler. I make a fuck ton more money than yeah, you do, yeah, baby you do. boy. Look at you, a fucking mess. Yeah, okay. People are proud of you. 
Yeah, Brody. But no, my parents you definitely your, are. Gotta get your little baby brother all jammed up. Driving no, no, he license. is. No, he is jammed. He, he, what? What's his problem? No, I said you got him all jammed up. Coming to get you. I don't got him He's jammed. Not, is, is he jammed up? Are you tell, you're telling me he's that telling he's jammed right up? No, he's jammed up. Yo. Jammed up? Okay. Then that's his shit. But you did it to him. Okay, I'll fucking walk home, dude. How does that help you're, him? It's not gonna How make it's not gonna make your short ass dick any longer, bro. Why are you talking about my dick, bro? Dude, because you're you are nothing. Yeah, you're nothing. I, I, yeah. I, I vape. That's all we're good. Yeah, Tommy, good in the truck. Nick, everything's fucking great with the truck. Every, yeah, and it's getting towed. I, I mean, yeah. I'm obviously, not, I'm obviously not driving. You're great. I'm yeah, I, I'm sober. Yeah, because I got a, I got a job that makes money, not a fucking Bristol yeah, police officer. Yeah, yeah. Go, go fucking lick no, your dog. Stop. Go lick Wait. your dog's Nick. fucking. Get that Nick, 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 no, yeah, see you all. Oh, look at that in your truck. Ah. Ah. See? Yo, look what you did. That's right. <laughs> He's like a ninja. He is. Nick is like a ninja. ninja. No, fuck you, dude. Passenger <laughs> seat. Dude. Dude. You're shot. Bro, I love this. You're caught. You're the good yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good day. Yo, yo, yo. I really, I really, I really want to hurt you right now. So, you? so bad. Yeah, man. Oh my God. I'm so. Oh. Tell him to get in the passenger seat. Yeah, buddy. Tell him to get in the passenger seat, please. Like I won't. He doesn't listen from 800 Nick, yards. Please. 800 yards. Stop. Yeah. Passenger seat. Please. No, we're not, we're not going anywhere. Let's they, wait they, in they, our car. Li- they, they are lying. So we can't you. sit right here? We sit are in the truck. Get in the truck. Can we sit, oh. sit in the yeah, truck? Yeah, sit in the, the truck. The car is going to get yeah, towed. Yeah, no shit. But let's and sit. And we are going to walk away. Can we sit in it? No, Absolutely. I'm not Thank sitting. Nick, he said we could. Then you. That's fucked. Because I get ruined out of this shit. He's You're not getting ruined. ruined. Nathan, because of me. Nobody's going to do anything. Like, I wouldn't pick you up. Nick, look at there's how many fucking enough, there's you not got enough. There's not enough of them here. And chill. Fuck. Oh, out. Sit knock me in out. The car. Look at he knocked me out once. Let's see you do it again. Right now. Please, Nick, please. if you want to get through the cops, you gotta hit me one more fucking time. Leave me alone. I'm no. not assaulting get in you. The the no. Get in the car. Get in the car. Be up cold. Absolutely. Nick, can you put not. him in cuffs? No, you can't put me in cuffs. Him right here. I've done nothing to be put in cuffs. Don't put me in cuffs because... Nathan explained to the police that he was driving Nicholas home because Nicholas was drunk. Officer Pollock informed Nathan that, due to his expired driver's license and Nicholas's intoxication, neither of them would be allowed to drive and the truck would be towed. Officer Pollock then began completing the paperwork for Nathan's ticket for operating a motor vehicle without a license while other officers stood by waiting for the tow truck and transportation for the Brutchers to arrive. Oh, don't thank me. You're, you're fucking hilarious. You're you're so yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. I would love to be fucking 5'6". Jesus yo, Christ, yo, it'd I be so it. sweet to be 5'6". Did you call for a ride yet, though? What? Call for a ride yet? I'm working he on it. He did. He did. I'm fucking again. Shut your truck fucking with mouth. Your You're the fucking fourth you know guy in the rack. Shut up. Honestly. You're not, you guys aren't going to do anything. All that body cams on it. You guys aren't going to do like that, anything. anything. So check your, I don't even check your ass home. back to fifth in the rack and sit your fucking ass in your yeah. car See? and do Go nothing. Go back home. And do nothing. Leave us alone. Cops are coming. Cops are yeah. here. Goodbye. That's what I meant. Cops are here. No, I'm not, I'm not asking trying to be scared. scared. Yo, we're not scared of you. That's a fact. <laughs> but you guys are being fucking actually aggressive and it's annoying. Don't be aggressive to me. Please, we're trying bit. to get this figured out. That little that little Work that truck, little push. Stupid oh my God, fight so, that so, happened so to, tough. to nothing. I'm so tough. Bring this home. I have a dog that I not he's like fucking he might be he might two, walk away he's 22 he years around. old oh. he's 22 years old yeah. nick, nick, nick. bye well you gotta get hang on one second you gotta get your ticket oh you that's go. fine i'll take it yeah nathan you just gotta wait for your what time. is it 76 what yeah, 80 90 there you go then are we gonna get yeah we is fucking 22 year old you ready buddy you dropped you, some of your money. I don't care about my money. Mm-hmm. 
22 years old, man. And Jim. Is it Ace, Ace, Ace Ventura Pet, Pet first one? Pet, the first one. He, so, Finkel is I know we don't like each other, but he has Finkel a lot. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel. <laughs> so get your fucking cock having bitch ass away, too. You should just leave like the last guy did. He was smart. Because we are going to get into it after Nate leaves. One, two, three, four. Call him Nicholas. <laughs> it's so unfair to you guys. Yeah, it's so fucking unfair. Please back away. I'm trying to call for my ride home. And this is making it very awkward for me to call to my house. Yo, call mom and no, tell No, no, no. Mom would not appreciate having set one, two, what? three, four, Ever, five. Ever, man. I think five cop cars here. Like, that's shit. Seriously nuts. They're going to have to let the dog out because they're such dude, pussies. Because this dude's, this dude's dog. six foot. This dude's five foot six. Shit. So you get the dog. All the fucking tow truck. Where is the tow truck? I'm not getting charged with anything because I've committed no crime, sir. You paper? You paper? College? You are fucking 23. Let me show one of you guys who arrested me and fucking put me home. Everyone else, go! Fight crime tonight. There's a lot of shit going on. fucking crime to fight. It's Bristol, Connecticut. Charges? Well, for, no. No. Yeah, no, they're not. Yeah, so I'm not, it. I'm not in any trouble. You're in zero, you're, you're yeah, no leave. shit. You're free to leave. Oh, okay. He said. Oh, okay. I'm, all, I'm, I'm very sorry. I am not driving anywhere. I just tried to call no. him. I'm not a fucking no. idiot. You gotta walk over. No, I picked him up in his truck. All right. Work truck, so he's in trouble. It would work. Are you gonna follow me, baby boy? I'm scared. Yeah, you should be. You're so. You want to get at me so bad? Come on. Come on! You gotta speak to Jameson, Clay. I can't hey, anymore. Hey, hey, buddy, buddy boy, buddy boy, buddy boy, buddy boy. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Did, what's his name? His last name's McGrain. Hey, McGrain. Yes, Nick. Ma Nick. How loud do I have to get for you to get at me? Mom, no. mom, mom. I'm scared of you. Why would I yeah. ever want to fight? Mom? You're You're so no. You me. should be. You no. should. No, no, he should, no, he shouldn't. No, he should he's an officer no. of the law. They but, should not. But you are strapped every once they in a while, should. too. So who gives a fuck? What's the difference between now and every other time? No. Am I? No, he's not. He's not. He wants his drinking, and we ain't, ain't set. Okay, okay. I don't drink any. I don't drink any. She's fucking around. Your mom's on the way. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you. Man, mom's on the way. My aunt's coming. Not bad. So I'm not this gonna is the funniest shit. shit ever. Why are you so close? Like to it? It? I'm just standing. It's, it's so close. close. I'm just standing, brother. It's so close. What is it? Fucking COVID? COVID rules? Still, we can't talk. Oh, Officer McGuire, you make me so nervous. I'm so scared. You, you are nervous, right? No, yeah. I, I, the fear pumping through me right now because of you is unreal. I know it's. I Officer know. T, could you move him? I I'm fearing for my life right now. Get back. <laughs> He's 23 years old. He just brother. wants to be arrested for interfering, I think, at this point. Where do I gotta go? Stand by your truck. Where? Right by the where you were sitting before, Mr. Susie Field. You got a hyphen? You got a hyphen in your name? You fucker! Get in your car. Now. Get in the fucking car, mother. Listen, I love you. Like that, bro. Don't fucking tell me how to talk to my fucking mother. Uh, Just go. I'm. Just leave you right. Hey, buddy. I'm walking. Can can you let me do that? Come on. 
I don't respect you a single bit. Mother, I love you. Adios. I'm walking home. Where do you live? Don't worry about where I live. It's not, it's not, it's not in this neighborhood I'm not going to walk home. I'm going to walk down the street and go by a car and be on, and be on me. There is sidewalks from here to my home. So go fuck yourself. I will be right back for this one. No! No! He's going to jail! He's in the fucking car! They don't have enough people here to take me to jail. I'm going to walk home. She's taking walk home. He's finished getting your paperwork together. Yeah, so, no shit. Do you mind me? Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. Great movie. This is out. How much? $103? For what? Creating a public disturbance. What public fucking disturbance? You got people come out of the house. Now yeah. it's littering. Let's create a fucking real public disturbance. Okay. You're all set. You're free to go. Take a big ticket. You can go. Can we create a real fucking public disturbance? No, sorry. If you want to leave that there, it's fine. She's never had a fucking black eye. That's fine. You can pay it or plead not guilty. Thank you, ma'am. Of course. As the tow truck prepared to leave the scene, Nicholas approached the driver from the passenger side to make a statement. Hey man, I gotta come pick this car up for me. Yeah, there's a 48 hour hold on it. 48? Yeah. Yep. No, there isn't. I'll, be, I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Right. Thank you. No. No, I'm going to the shop. He's going inside. Woo. Nicholas was picked up by his mother and taken to his home, located just down the road from his parents' house. However, following the contentious interaction with the police, a simmering tension seemed to take hold. He began methodically putting on camouflage gear and loading his arsenal of weapons, his movements deliberate and unnerving. Within 30 minutes, with a chilling sense of purpose, Nicholas placed a call to 911. Bristol 911, what's the address of the emergency? It is Redstone Hill Road. Um, your, alters, your officers had an altercation with a man earlier tonight and I don't know if he's good yeah I did okay what's the emergency in Redstone Hill Road uh, I don't know it, 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 it's just not it's not good okay what's your name Nicholas Nicholas what's your last name it's B-R-U-T-C-H-E-R okay you called 911. What's the yes, emergency sir. at Redstone Hill Road? I, it, I don't know if it's necessarily an emergency, but it really does. Okay. I We did shift change. I have no idea what you're talking about. You called 911. <laughs> what is the emergency? Yes, sir. Uh, it's, I can't even say if it really is an emergency. I just think that this young man needs some talking to. What young man? Nathan. Nathan what? Right, same last name. Okay, where is he? He's in the home. He's at your house at Redstone Hill Road? Yeah, he's... It's, it's, it's not very good. It, it, I mean, nothing okay. violent. Who is he in relation to you? My brother. Your brother. Okay. What's going on? Uh, like, we, we got into a altercation <laughs> with, with patrol officers earlier on in the night, and he's just carrying on about it. So. Okay. Where was the altercation? Yes, brother. Holy clear. 
Um, I, I I couldn't tell you the road. It was it was, it had to do with some with stuff from with from bleachers. Okay, what's he doing right now that prompted you to call nine one one? He's just being very like aggressive towards who. I mean anybody anybody that he had come in contact with. Okay. Who else is at the house? It, it's it's just him and myself. Okay. What's he doing now? I mean you're saying anybody he's coming in contact with, you're the only one he's coming in contact with if it's just you two of you. So what's yeah, he I mean I like like I I I don't want to fight my brother. He's just being very aggressive towards me at the, at the current time. And like I I don't want to get him in trouble. Okay. How old, I, how old is I, Nathan? I, I also uh, I want to say 25. Any weapon? No. Was it has it been violent at all? Any physical? Uh, I mean a little bit physical, but how, in what way? I, like, I mean, just like how men get physical with each other when they're all upset and such. Okay, so he was pushing you. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but can you tell him, was he pushing you around? Did he punch you? Did he tackle you? I mean... No, no, no. I, I, didn't, get, I didn't get punched, but yeah, definitely, definitely pushed. And like, like I'm saying, this is, this is coming off of a previous okay is he intoxicated right now yeah okay and uh, i'm gonna say have you been drinking too no okay all right listen we're gonna have an officer come over and see you guys okay all right, i appreciate you all right thank you thank you three officers arrived on the scene sergeant dustin demonte officer alex hamzi and Officer Alec Ayurato. The officers met Nathan at a side door and instructed him to show his hands and step outside. But as Nathan was in the process of complying, Nicholas had other, more sinister plans. Right now. Nicholas Brutcher was in a concealed position on the neighboring property when he opened fire with a high-powered rifle, catching the officers off guard and dispensing more than 80 rounds. Sergeant DiMonte and Officer Hamzi were fatally wounded at the scene. Officer Ayurato sustained a gunshot wound to his upper leg, but was able to make his way back to the location of the police cruisers. Once there, he fired a single shot, fatally wounding Nicholas and neutralizing the immediate threat. As required by statute regarding an officer's use of deadly force, an investigation was conducted. This later concluded that Officer Ayurato was justified in his use of lethal force. Officer Ayurato's quick thinking and bravery under fire were later commended, highlighting the stark contrast between Nicholas's calculated violence and the officer's selfless courage. Nicholas Brutcher, the oldest of four sons, grew up in Bristol, Connecticut. He graduated high school in 2005 and earned varsity letters in football and wrestling. Former classmates described him as a bully who frequently fought. Following high school, Nicholas attempted to enlist in the U.S. Army, but was rejected, possibly for physical reasons. Despite this, he sometimes claimed to be a veteran. Nicholas worked for the construction company New England Liner Systems in Plantsville, Connecticut. He had been employed there since he was 19 and had worked his way up to supervisor. According to his employer, his work performance of late had not been satisfactory. Nicholas married in 2015 and had two children, but the marriage ended in divorce in 2019. His ex-wife later entered into a relationship with one of Nicholas's former friends, and in early 2022, Nicholas learned she was pregnant with the friend's child. This news led to a downward spiral marked by heavy drinking and the abuse of various substances. Multiple persons confirmed to investigators 
that Nicholas had a severe drinking problem in the months leading up to the shooting. Nicholas's mother noted that he was still in love with his ex-wife and was embittered by the friend taking over as the head of the family. The friend recounted an incident when Nicholas confronted him while watching the children and described feeling threatened. Notably, Nicholas's ex-wife gave birth on October 12, 2022, the same day as the shootings. Another potential source of stress in Nicholas's personal life was uncovered during the forensic analysis of his phone. Over the past year, Nicholas frequently installed and uninstalled the dating app Grinder, and there were indications that he wanted to keep this aspect of his life private. During this period, he appeared to be dating multiple women, one of whom he impregnated with the baby due the same month as his ex-wife's. Additionally, a text message sent two days before the shooting indicated that Nicholas was seeking a date with a gay man. The exact motive behind Nicholas Brutcher's deadly ambush remains unclear, though authorities believe the contentious traffic stop played a role in his actions that evening. The murders left the community struggling with the senseless loss of two dedicated officers. In the aftermath, the Bristol Police Department and the local community united to honor the fallen officers and support their families.